What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show today. We are in Hawaii, Hawaii, Marsden. Tell them about it. All right, we're at Fort Poo Bay doing a golf tournament, raising money for the Cala Foundation and the kids. Whoa. We're going to explore the island and then those Hang same out with kids. Hang on, the Yeah. We're going to be the them. kids showcase. Roll the food. Okay, we just got to Hawaii, but our friends are here, and he was gonna say the island. We're in Kauai, <laughs> but I want to go to the ocean. Let's go. Oh yeah. This is Jacob. He's been on the show. This is his girlfriend Ray. She came to hang out with us all week <laughs> in Hawaii. Work trip. No intense at all. First time in Hawaii. First time. Oh, it's warm. It's warm. Oh. Woo! Here we go. It's saltier than I expected. We're trying to tell you guys about golf trauma. We're oh. in a wave pool called the ocean. Give it to Okay, it's a four man Ooh. scramble. El Cuatro. Tommy's gonna be the uh, cat. He's gonna be swinging for the fences, and we're gonna be the best dressed by far. Oh. See you guys on the floor. Welcome to the 16th green. Let's kick this golf tournament off. We're at Poipu Bay. This is a championship course. Tiger Wood owns this place. Everyone's here to uh, support our mission, which is to create healthy environments for our youth. This is our team, you know? Look at these guys. A couple of matching uh, action Bronsons yeah, or something. Know. And then uh, this is just our cart girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hype man. Hype man. I hope this ball can float, because... Uh, you up first? Yeah, I guess so. This is what we do. No, no. Oh. Okay. That's gone, that's in the bushes, bro. I uh, corked a few vertebrae on that one. Okay. Oh! 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 He's right right. Oh! We got a four-man scramble, teams of four, no handicaps, so we got some real deal golf going down. Roll on in, dude. Come oh, on, come join me. Watch, What's up, man? Welcome to Hawaii. Thanks. Aloha. Aloha. That's what they Mahalo. say. Mahalo. Mahalo. I think that's when you say goodbye. Oh. What activity do we get in day one? Golf. Let me tell you, that's the most beautiful course I've ever been on. I've played a good amount of golf, mostly Utah golf. Losing balls in paradise makes a little bit uh it stings a little less. House, 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 house. Oh shit, we're taking Martin's tea oh. right now, boy. This is Woo! Good. I'm a putter. I grew up poor, so I'm a putt putt specialist. I'm an ace. Just keep an eye on me on those greens. 30. Getting a pump. This is a boring sport. <sighs> this is what we do. Okay. Uh. I just contributed my second tee shot, so I'm gonna keep track of that, Tommy. So we definitely finished over par, but the guys that won, 13 under par. <laughs> yeah, not bad, boy. Oh, that's the end of the golf tournament. What's going on next, Mars? Uh, well, first off, I could have chopped down a tree with as many swings as we took today, but that'll really work up a workout. All right, I'm here with my boy. This is Matty Bick. I'm What's running it? a committee for this titty city. Nitty. Gotta be gritty. It's gonna be nitty. When in Hawaii, you gotta go with the Lilikoi favor. I think it was a Hawaii-inspired tasty treat. Chilling in the chair, I'll be sipping it. Watch one of your shows, I'm getting it. It's like a piston right here. See, I got to be chilling all the time. Let's go! Let the fuse! That's it. Oh, look how wide or uh, narrow he is. I ain't gonna leave the room, I don't wanna kill a few. What that the shit that is inside my cop? Put the top, chicken the bigger than now, chicken a part of the crowd. I don't wanna pop, I don't wanna go down. It's looking good. Gotta want it. Yeah, do another one, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body weight. Freeze it at the party on my own. Oh, Jake! That's your credit! Woo! I want an A! Like 20, 15, 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, over on the bench. Now we're doing 4 sets of 12, incline dumbbell bench press. Let's go! We're building an upper deck shelf. Let's go! 
This is how you grow your booty. Party on my own. Party on my own. Good job, boy. Good job, boy. That felt good. There you go. Come on, guys. Honestly, who do you think is the fitter, Mark? It's a question. We're both winners because of our last name. Yeah, <laughs> buddy. Actually, you know what? That's the winning answer. What's up, people? I got a massive chest. Striations. What you know about them? Shout out to the Whoop. Here we go. Workout data provided by Whoop. 8.2 strain, 177 max heart rate. 9.7 strain. 176 that assault by got we moving. Yeah, you look you still look pretty uh, pumped up right there. Okay. Shout out to the butter game. We got yeah. Tony Lloyd Wallace. Tony with 25, an eye. Great yeah. Britain, level 16, 309 data streak. I get Almost him. a year, Lloyd. Can you make it? 13.6 average day stream, CrossFit training, gymnastics, and cycling. Oh, pretty neat. I also wanted to just show you guys the sunset. Hawaiian sunsets are so nice. Up that saturation, if you can't see it, it's back there. It's back there. Okay, on to the next thing. All right, that's the end of this. Uh, you, my friend, are looking uh, striations. D, C, double D. You know what it is? Stem cells. Okay, hey. Vic, what's up now? Yeah, what are you doing are now? You a oh, 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 success. Man. Look at you that. know you had a good day. Yeah. Top show. Top you know you show. had a good day when that works like that. Well, that concludes today. Tomorrow we're getting on a boat. We're going up the Nepali coast, hopefully. See some dolphins. I'm out. What's up? Here we are. This is the part where we talk about what we're gonna go do, and then we'll show you what we're gonna go do. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna get in a boat, and then we're gonna go up and see the Nepali coast. It's a once in a lifetime experience. That's happening for the second time! We rented 200 dolphins. We have three. And we're we meeting them. Three. We're gonna pay extra because we're late, boys. So the next day, Hoppy throws us on a boat and we go up the Nepali coast. One of the most special and pristine places on earth that I've ever been. Uh, they filmed a documentary there? Yeah, Jurassic Park. Yeah, Jurassic Park. I don't know if you saw it. That's a good one. Oh, oh, oh. The Nepali coast is a very, very special place that I like to take all my friends that come over here. It's a beautiful ocean, dolphins. Caves you can drive in, beaches, and it's it's the closest thing to like the feeling of God you can get. It's just so real and it's so raw. We was kicking off with some dolphins. Dolphins off the front of the boat. And then we found a little private island for you and I to hang out on. Yeah, that was nice. It was, you know, very Mary I've J. Seen... Blige of you. Yeah, it looks like we're straight out of a music video. We're gonna go stand on a rock and take some honeymoon photos. <laughs> And then, Poffy backs us into a cave. Says, uh, hey, y'all gonna jump off this cliff. It's probably the highest cliff that uh, I've ever considered jumping off of. Whoa! Wait, that's the cliff you jumped off? We're jumping off. Right we, yeah. together. We? Are you for real? Yeah, we're gonna do that. If everybody jumps off the boat, I'm getting ready to jump in the water, and huh. at this time, Bickle starts telling us this story about how he did it, and it was the worst decision he ever made. It was so unsafe and very not smart. You've done this before, huh? Yeah. Um, why, why are you not doing this time? Because it's the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. I'm not even joking. It's a different vantage point. When you had the drone flying up there, I was looking at my iPhone, like just watching them like almost die. It's <laughs> like we just seeing the rock slip out. It, it's crazy. You got a bleeder. And as he's telling that story, I'm watching everybody struggle to get out of the water because of the wash of the waves are just smacking everybody against the rock. And as that's happening, I'm like, I'm gonna stay in the boat. I straight up chickened out. You chickened out? I did. Straight up. Yep. This is about enough thrill to, to sit on the shore and watch. But... We climb uh, around a corner and then scale a 90 foot wall at about 75 degrees, maybe 60 at points. It's basically straight up. Jump into the water is by far the easiest decision to make. 
and then you gotta get off on that ledge, and the ledge you have to time it with the wave so because the water will pull you off. Then you're in bare feet climbing that right there that they're climbing. Then as you come up over the top, you've lost all your confidence and you realize that it's not <laughs> nearly as low as it looks from the boat. This is freaking high. I am low-key scared of heights. <laughs> what about you, Julian? Know your thing? Oh no, not my thing. Not my thing at all. No, my, my, my feet are meant to be planted on this ground. <laughs> is there, let's get these guys out of here first. <laughs> the thing is, you can't go back down that way. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You have to jump. Oh, man. Oh, it's an express lane down. It's like halfway up, I'm like, what the hell are we doing? They've told me it was anywhere from 68 to 80 feet. Heights in the eye of the beholder, I guess. Yeah, the whole climb was terrifying. Finally, we make our way to the top. We get to the edge of the cliff. Hey, saddle down! And then we jump. You jump. You jump. such a long hike up, I might have turned around at the top. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. The, rock, the climb up was uncomfortable to say the least. Rocks were sharp, ants everywhere. But amazing, amazing. It was all worth it the minute we got up there. I feel exhilarated right now. I feel alive. Woo! <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, that was emotional. That was a lot. <sighs> it didn't hurt when your feet crossed? No. The beach. So uh, there's a waterfall back here. You know about it? Apparently, it's called a Hawaiian shower. Oh, sounds sexual. <laughs> Out of you making that jump, dude. What happened to you, man? Uh, I was flying the drone, you know. I yeah, had to I had somebody, somebody's got to get the shots. Convenient. So, up next, we're gonna go meet these kids that we're about to coach. We had some coaching advice that we got last year. Uh, we're just gonna tell them to show me smart, <laughs> show me strong. Dan was, Bailey, um, you can tell by his biceps, they have a gravitational pull, oh. <laughs> just pulls them all in. Look at all these people yeah. sitting around me, yeah. Facts. Lather those bad boys up. You know, a little cocoa butter. Yeah, I was gonna say coconut milk. Yeah, coconut milk. Even better. And so we're gonna get assigned some kids and then we're gonna demo through all the movements, make sure everybody is well versed in what they have to do tomorrow. And then tomorrow is a big day. Kids are gonna compete in the showcase showdown. We have hundreds of kids in our program and I only get to pick 60 this year. These kids have earned the opportunity not the best athletes, but they're the most consistent, the best attitude, and they're just rock stars uh, in and outside the gym. Oh, what's up, dude? Some of this? Pretty solid squad here. This is a two person interval, three rounds each for a total of 12 minutes. So we got Lincoln, Cole, Benjamin, and Blitz. I'll tell you, 
to the team. I think yeah. you're going to win. Well, honestly. what's funny is I came over to the kids. I was like, what weight do you want to use? They said the heaviest weight. The heaviest weight. They seem pretty capable. I was like, how many double unders do you want to do? They're like 40. I was like, let's do 30. I like what you did there, coach. Yep. Yeah. Team name is the Butter Boys, okay? Boom! Oh, oh, okay, chill. So we're trying to find a way that they can do six Boom. times Boom. without setting it down. Four. Tomorrow we can That's specify three. which weights to use. Yeah, we met, we had these two kids, Kiala and Blitz, which were little brothers. Oh, let's get it! Do another one! And then Lincoln and Cole, who are just two awesome high school kids. So they put two high school kids with two elementary kids on a team of four. And I knew when I, when I met him, I was like, we were meant to be together. We're gonna win this event. True that. It's not about so, winning, but it, it is. Yeah, it is. It's always about winning. You One game win streak. Okay, so the, the Kiala Foundation is a charity organization that brings these kids into this after school program, puts them through a CrossFit workout, gives them a meal, sends them home, and part of the whole Hawaiian Trail Run is to raise money to fund the program for the entire year. Crushing it, dudes. Crushing it. These kids are solid, man. We got a solid squad. Oh, yeah. That's smooth like butter, boys. Smooth like butter, boys. All right. Boom. Okay. You got to go fast. Yeah. Up, go. Up, go. All right. Show me smart. Show me strong. What you know? I know my team about to destroy. About to what? Yeah, they're good. Stem cells. We're actually going out to Columbia tonight for stem cells. Oh, okay. We think that if we sleep in hyperbaric chambers on the plane, do the stem yeah, cells yeah, yeah. tomorrow you'll, morning. You'll come back down. Elevation. Yeah, fly back and a, a huge competitive advantage. Every little thing, every little yeah. thing. Yeah. Like it's, it's teach the youth, man. Teach the youth. Butter boys on three, okay? One, two, three, butter boys, right? One, two, three, butter boys! I, I'm gonna say it. Our, our team's gonna win this damn thing tomorrow. You know yeah, what I mean? it's gonna be neat. Yeah. The buttery bros and the buttery boys are gonna put on a show tomorrow. Are you gonna dream? Julian's got a dream. Does it I involve got a good cousins? One. It does not involve cousins. I didn't take two scoops, but it did involve some white pants that I do love. I defecated myself in my white jeans, but unfortunately, my dream, or fortunately, they gave me a long tee. I was wearing a tall tee. And your, your dream gave the dream gave you the tee? Who's yeah. They? The, whoever whoever the dream makers are. So they gave me a long tee, so I was able to cover my white pants, but I was at a wedding yeah, and I dream. pooped myself on the dance floor. I, I don't want to unpack that, literally. <laughs> I learned that volcanic rock is really hard to walk on barefoot. Yeah. Last time I learned that lesson, and then I forgot it. Well, and, oh, I also learned to face your fears. Marston now found out that Kauai is actually smaller than oh. LA, Los Angeles County. She didn't believe me. And Rhode Island. Yep. Cheers to Kauai. And we'll see you in the morning. I like my rose. Okay, hi. What's up? We're here at CrossFit Boy We're gonna coach two classes today and we're gonna give away some uh, cash prizes. Tell them cash about Cash prizes, okay. So first we're gonna start with an unorthodox warm up of a sprint over here to the bikes. 35 calories on the bikes, sprint back. Winner walks away with cash money. Then we're gonna do a workout. What's the workout? Workout is five rounds. You do 30 double unders and then 10 overhead squats. And then? And then you're gonna go straight into 100 double unders and 30 overhead squats. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna go have fun. Stretch where we come up that, to this wall and set your Woo! knee and then right here. And then we're just gonna stretch this. Just trying to stretch out the quad. 10 seconds. A little go out flow right here. I got my girl showing me what's up. Money, he's got the money. He's got money in his hand. He was giving it to people. Unorthodox warm up. We're going to split the men and the women. Three, two, one, go! You gotta want it! Friday morning, we wake up and we coach two classes. Oh, yeah. We gave him some challenges. I was like, we're going to do some giveaways. So challenge number one, it was the only challenge we did. There you go, embrace the pain. You're here for it. Is that a leg ball? Yes, I was like, why am I not running? <laughs> My legs are not moving. Okay, so Marge, you don't know who this guy is, but I'm gonna introduce you. Okay? Yeah, no, I just met him. No, you did not. 
You filmed this proposal two years ago. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Good. What, a, what a throwback. Oh, yeah. this guy, My wife got there with a baby in the parking lot. The baby's working. out there in the parking lot. So yeah, two years later, still married good, with the baby congrats. back in Hawaii. Good to you, my guy. Thank and $100 richer that he donated. Oh. He, to, he to donated cause? to the cause. Give it to them kids. Give them to the kids. My guy. But we're here. Congrats. I know that you be bad from the minute Yep, and then so we had a little Mac con and, and people loved it. They crushed their souls and we just cheered them on, made sure they were hitting depth, things like that. That's it, that's it. They're looking good. Very impressive, very impressive out here. Very good. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Girl, don't put it down. Don't put it down. One, two, three, butter! I think that's Lilikoi cream cheese. <laughs> All right, we're at Holo Holo Grill at the Kaloa Landing, and we these... Were, we were told this morning... These are the best on the island? By far. By best far. pancakes on the island. So we're rating the entire country, island, on these pancakes. And I've been over this before. Banana's the best flavor. Let me know if you don't agree. Is it the best fake flavor or the best flavor? Either or. I like banana runt, banana, banana chips. Runs. I mean, banana pancakes are, you know, my Jack Johnson's. Oh. Right, here we go. I like to go full stackies, no erases, okay? Did you get a banana in there? I didn't get a banana in there. I had the worst view in the house. That's a bite. That is a bite. That's a solid bite. Is that my bite? Put you back here. Let's try it out here. In here. That's a three-dimensional flavor. Ray, what's up, girl? Man, those are high. Yeah, I'm gonna say like nine, three. Oh, he said it. I'm gonna have to back my boy up on this. I'm gonna say a nine, 2.5. Because not only are they fluffy and stacked, they got banana flavor. Do you see this? Are they macadamia nuts? Do you see this? They slap. Wow. Get all of that in your mouth. <laughs> You gotta want it. Get it in. Get it in your gut. You take it out of the water. I got burnt, by the way. You got burnt? A little bit. Okay. Solid stack. Yeah, so if you're in Kauai, you know, I'd recommend you come over here and get yourself some banana, some macadamia nuts, and a crane. Okay. Hydro. Hey. Hydro. Hydro. Yeah. Hydro. Yeah. Hydro and salt. Hydro and salt. Oh. Okay, so we're just warming the kids up. We're about to have heat one of the first event. We're in heat one. We're about to set the time to beat for all the other kids because it's all about winning. The, uh, our team name is the, the Butter Boys with three Z's because we're from Utah. I feel like we got a good chance of running away with this whole thing. We've got a lot of capable kids. Excited to see this thing get kicked off. Dear God, we thank you for this wonderful day and we thank you for all the people that have gathered here to just like share this special moment with us. I just pray that you give us all strength, and even though it is a competition, to get everybody the strength that they need to get through this workout. And I just pray that we'll have a lot of fun and just like share this with the world. And you say we pray, Amen. Amen. So then we get to the kids competition and our team gets out against about 25 other teams and smash it. Tell me how you were impacted by that. I've never coached kids before. It was really rad to see, one, how skilled they were. Yeah, it moves really well. Super capable kids. Like I feel like they kind of gave us uh, some of the diehards, which I'll take them. The Kiala Foundation really focuses on teaching kids how to process trauma. Without even realizing it, they're learning about all of these great qualities of like forgiveness and being honest, integrity, all of those things, and being able to be transparent and reach out to people. I was never taught those things, so I stuffed. I couldn't show that I was weak by crying. I couldn't, you know, tell my friends, hey, I gotta tell you how I'm feeling. You know, I could never do that because it's a sign of weakness growing up.
but it was really cool just to be in that environment because you see a lot of the the mental battles that you go through in CrossFit and in these hard and tough workouts and seeing kids kind of overcome some challenges some kids like shed some tears it was really rad just to see them work as a team Let that baby roll. <laughs> okay, We're, event one in the can. We won. Let's talk it back though. Doesn't matter. I mean, no, the boys crushed it. Yeah, I mean, I think we got second in heat one. Second so. out of heat one, I, and the teams that were behind us were like a good chunk behind us. Our score was 156, the next one was like 96. Yep. And the team ahead of us, like 168. We'll get them on the next one. Yeah, we're coming they, in hot. It's all about winning. You see uh, Cole had a little trip up on the box, hit his shins. Yeah, He's hit good. His shins. Shook it off. Shook it off. Yeah. Got back up. Guys, guys got tough kids. Got, 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 got a lot of guts. Event two coming up. We got snatches. We got running. We're going to get after it. Let's go. One, two, three, five. Oh, I was born and raised on Kauai. Growing up here, it's, it's a lot different than anywhere else in the world. It's beautiful. It's a small island, small community, but the deadly side to that, you know, we have a very huge drug culture. We're, we're growing up around our families, our uncles, our aunties, and they're the ones that are all using the drugs. And it's so normalized over here that it's, it's not a threat. I, I would say 99% of the kids are walk into this without even knowing it. It's just like the sheep being led to a slaughterhouse. Our buddy Aaron Hoff started this foundation a few years ago because he was a recovering drug addict and he wanted to surround himself with positive people. And the positive people he found on the island were little kids. And he started this foundation to get kids into a gym. Basically get these kids into this program after school, teach them some CrossFit, some life lessons, and then send them home. Get them more active in something positive and have them not go to the wayside. I think we won. I mean, nobody says we won, but yeah, we, we won. We're telling yeah. you right now. It's yeah. a big one game with speed. That was all in good fun. I'm pretty sure Woo! we won, but yeah. uh, what's First up next? place. We're gonna hit some kids in the face. <laughs> We're done. Oh, I'm out of there. I got this ball. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip this. Tell them how are you moved by the kids, though? Seeing the positivity that's struck a chord in them, and not only them, us as well, because I understand what it could be like to have negativity and just not a good environment to grow up in. And it's awesome to see these lessons that Hoff's teaching them at an early age, and they're like excited to be there, they're excited to show up and go through the process of bettering themselves. And I think it's really rad that they're able to get the showcase it and the kids showcase it. It's a phenomenal experience. The kids are amazing. The foundation's amazing. I was moved. You always learn a lot about yourself hanging out with other kids. They give you a great, fresh new perspective on life. My cup, I, everyone kept saying their cup was full, and my cup was full after the experience that we had at that event. Tell me when I'm in, tell me when I'm itching! I'm in! And then on top of that, there's nothing that makes me happier than throwing a dodgeball in a kid's face. Oh yeah, that's how we had to finish. A little dodgeball to just close it all out. Victory! It was one my catch! It was one my catch! I knew we could do it! Undefeated! I knew it! Undefeated! We call that a three-game win streak today, baby! 
Is that out right now? Yeah. All right. That's, That's the end of the show. That's the end of the show. Up next, Ultimate Hawaii Stop Thrones. talking. Yeah, stop talking back there. We're talking to the camera. Good luck. Yeah. Let me tell you about what we didn't get on camera. Julian's game-winning shot. Game-winning shot. Came in clutch. Steph Curry for the win. For the win. That's the end of the show today. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Go help out the Kiala Foundations. They're doing an amazing thing for these kids. And uh, next episode, we run a trail with them. Running that trail. 2021, ready to roll. Woo! Part two coming soon. Also, yeah. these jorts just dropped, yeah? Yeah, pick up some jorts. You guys have been waiting for these jorts for a long time. Now available on the website. Go get them. Like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you guys. You're the best. Bye. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No chip this. What? Tell them run it up. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first, I